Hello. How are you tonight? It is Jackie here with ja uh, Creative Paper Crafting with Jackie. And I am just kind of zooming in so that I, so that you can see the image that I'm using tonight. This is a My Besties image. And I'm going to be making a um, kind of an interesting background that I experimented with today. So I hope that you're having a good Friday. I know lots of people are out doing the Black Friday thing. And I am, uh, <laughs> I'm not much of a Black Friday shopper. So I um, am here doing my live, hoping that people are here to watch. So... Again, this is the image that I am doing tonight, and it is from uh, My Bestie Shop. And on my page, I do have um, the name of the image. I think it's so cute. I'm trying to see who's on. Oh, hey, Dawn. Hi, Yvonne. Hi, Sharon. Let's see, we have five people on. My um, um, oh, notifications, messages don't pop up so easily, so quickly ever since the update. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I hope that you can um, hear me. <laughs> and I do have this zoomed in. I'm trying to figure out the best place to have him. And I'm gonna go ahead and start. And with his face tonight, I am doing it just a little bit different than the colors I normally use. I am using this YR00 and um, E00 and also R20 and R30 for the um, blush and nose. And then I am also using a little bit of the E00, a touch of that, and E11. So, to recap. So, E11, E00, YR00, and E quadruple zero. And then for the rouge, the blush, R30 and R20. So, we'll get started. And if um, if, oh, the tape there, Yvonne, is so that, um, someone doesn't freeze the image and copy the image. Um, it help, kind of helps protect the artist. And then once we get coloring, I'll remove the tape off of here. But you have to be very careful with removing the tape because it could tear your paper. That happened to me during a live. <laughs> but it worked out okay. You know, accidents happen and you have to be prepared for them. You know, you have to find workarounds. Um, what I do is I stick it a few times on my jeans to kind of get rid of some of the stickiness. But it's the lights that make it um, like stick, like the adhesive melt too much. And that's why it, it tore my paper. So I am using this uh, YR000. I'm making his face a little, uh, little darker, a little pinker. I don't know why. I just think that uh, gnomes are a little more, they're more whimsical. And um, so I like the pinker, a little bit pinker faces. So uh, that's why I chose these colors. And, um, you know, everybody has their own preference. And this is just mine. <laughs> oh, it's Fatima on here too. Hi, Fatima. Hi, Fatima. Oh my gosh. I wish I could see everybody's messages so I could see how, who all is on, but I'm so thankful that you guys are joining me because I know it is um, Black Friday. I am not um, a big shopper. Plus, I have kids, small kids, and I think it's sometimes a little dangerous to go Black Friday shopping. I don't want to take them and anything happen. So, we stayed home and had a nice, quiet day today. Actually, it was quite nice because my one child is a special needs child and we have appointments every single day and so today we had zero appointments and it was quite nice this is my e double zero and with the chows see it's not on the caps like it is with the um sketches but these are what i i was gifted these by students and that's how i got started with my um copics and i love them so I'm just pulling out the color a little bit, just a tiny bit, and then I'm going to go in with my oh, E000, quadruple zero, E quadruple zero, 
And my markers, I don't know why, maybe because I transport them a lot, have started um, having big blobs, leaky blobs. So I'm trying to remember to take both ends off because these are pressurized. So I am trying to take both ends off so I don't have the big blobs. And now I'm gonna do the cheeks. I tend to move my paper around, so I'm really hoping I stay in frame. <laughs> All right, so, and I actually doing the cheeks the same color that I do his nose. And I don't know if that's a good practice or not, but that's what I did. So I'm just going around, and this is the R20, which is pretty much the standard for cheeks. And then I'm going in with the R30 around the edges, Let's see kind of going around the edges and you can actually do this two or three times to get the um, color you want and I would think well for me my gnome is outside because um, I'm making a wintry background so um, you know he's a little colder so his face might be a little redder so I'm just kind of going around the edges to soften kind of soften. Now, you know, there's two different types of, um, or school for thought with coloring. Some people like harder lines and some people like softer lines and, and I tend to like the softer lines. And neither one is right or wrong. It's just what, um, what, how you like to do your coloring. You know, there are really no marker police, even though some people act like marker police, there really is no art, uh, marker police, sort of like the grammar police. You know, there's people that think they're the police and tell you everything to do, but there really is no grammar police and no marker police. So I'm just doing the edge in the R30. So I did the R20 and then this softens up, makes a um, little bit softer line around the nose. So there we go. Already coming to life. When I get done, <clears throat> I will use the gel pen on his um, nose as a highlight and right in his eyes. I use I like to use a white gel pen on mine. All right, let me um, move on to his <clears throat> hair and beard. Now, also there, are, you know, people like a lot of people use gray when they do the beards and the hair. And myself, I I actually. I don't like the gray so much. I don't know. It makes me feel like the beard is dirty. <laughs> I, don't, I know that's kind of a weird thing. So I actually use, and this is what I use for fur also. I use E41, which is pearl white. And I use this E000, which is pale fruit pink. And then I do use a touch, just a touch of the um, W0, which is a warm gray. I don't, but I don't do all the, um, you know, sometimes you see people doing the shading with the gray. You can use gray or you can use blue when you're trying to make something white. And I like the bl uh, blue better than the white. So anyway, I'm going to start with my E41 and just kind of saturate the paper a little bit. Did anybody get any good bargains at uh, Black Friday today? I love to hear about bargains, even though I don't go shopping I was, um, even though I don't go shopping on, um, very much, I love to hear about the bargains people get. And I always think, oh, if I went, I probably wouldn't have found that bargain. So I'm just going in with my um, E41, which is a pearl white. This is the same color that I use for fur. And I also like to use for bathtubs, for porcelain. So I'm just saturating the whole beard. So that's what I do first. And actually, I'm going to take off the tape now. I'm going to try to take it off ever so gently so we don't have a repeat of my last live. Oh, it came off fine. All right. So I'm just going down. Such a cute image. And I hope my background is kind of something that I saw in my head. And um, so I experimented earlier today on a piece of paper. And I really, um, maybe I should have experimented twice, but I experimented one time. I was kind of happy. And so that's what we're gonna go with. 
kind of have a wintry background. And uh, I, when I'm, I, I don't sleep real well, and so I have often think about, mm, you know, what I'm going to make the next time, and that's where things kind of come to me. So I form this vision in my head, and then I try them. And maybe it's not the best thing to do during a live, but it is what I do. <laughs> okay, so we're going to work on his beard first, and then we'll do his hair. So then I go in with my um, E000, and I just kind of go where um, the beard ha already has some lines and just kind of See, I just kind of go in and I just do this very lightly, just kind of um, just a very light flicking type motion. And if you notice, even my um, E41 isn't real, real smooth because it, it's a beard. You don't want it to be flat. So I'm just kind of going in and just kind of, um, care not carefully, but lightly, just kind of going around. And just going around and just trying to there we go so it just kind of adds a little bit of uh, depth to it and then I just kind of see if you can listen I don't know if you can hear that just some flicking just like with hair kind of going in the same direction his beard would grow and flicking just to kind of give it some dimension. And then I go in with my uh, W0, my warm gray, and kind of do the same thing again. Just kind of flick around like this, like so. Anyway, I didn't keep up with the, um, hi, Sandra. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Sharon. Um, let's see, I'm just looking to see Oh, Shirley, I'm glad that you're glad somebody was doing a live. I, I figured it could go either two ways. People that didn't go um, shopping or people that went shopping and that now they're tired might want to watch a live. So I, I figured it could kind of go either way. So now I'm going to flick again. And I'm trying to flick where I have some white. So there we go. Flick, flick, flick. Okay. I'm going to hold this up and see if you can see that it, it is like when you do hair, but with lighter colors. So you still have uh, some highlights and some dark places, some shading going on. Uh, you still have it, but I just, I don't, I don't like the grays. I feel like they look a little dirty on the beards. It's just a personal thing. <laughs> Other people love them. I know. Uh, I just, I just always feel like the hair, the beards look dirty when they're gray. My, um, and th now I'm using um, W2, which is a warm gray for his hair, because I think his hair should be a little bit different than his beard. I see a place where I have left off. My brother, I have a brother that has um, a big beard. Um, and, he, and people often think that he looks like Santa. Now this one, his hair, I am doing, like I said, in a warm gray, because I think the hair should be different color than the beard. So I did it in a warm gray, the W2, and then I'm going to take the W0 and kind of lick it. I will get a little quiet, sorry, while I'm trying to concentrate. Okay, so I'm just kind of Flicking it. There we go. So I think his hair should look a little different than his beard. And then I'm going to take the W4 and just kind of go around right in here, just very lightly, and right here underneath his hat because you'd have a little bit of shading there around his face. And I'm going to do this one twice. And I'm doing the tips. A little bit and right here okay so then I'm gonna go back in with my W2 and I'm gonna pull this out a little bit and just a little bit and just a little bit and just a little bit because this 
not a lot to work with, but you still want to try to have um, some highlights. I'm going in with my W0. I got a good bargain um, myself on my um, Prismacolor pencils. They were a birthday present, and um, I had told my family about them because there was an automatic um, $30 coupon on Amazon when you checked out. It wasn't advertised or anything, but somebody on Kit and Clatter had um, told me, posted about it, and so I told my family, and then they ordered it. So I got the um, so that I got these markers, or not markers, the Prismacolor set at a big discount. Well, I did. My family did because they bought them for me for my birthday. I had a small set, but now I've got this. See the great big set, and so these were. Um, $60, which I think for 150 pencils. So I thought that was a bargain. So if anybody is shopping online, you could maybe get that bargain. So, oh, thank you, Chrissy. Thank you. Thank you. I felt like there's a couple of conversations going on and I'm not keeping up. I'm so sorry. Hi, Cynthia. How are you? All right. So now we're going to do um, his hat and I did his hat in reds and blue. I almost feel like uh, kind of patriotic colors <laughs> But that's okay it, It's really it's supposed to be Christmas colors. So I used R27, R24, and R14 And so we're gonna go in here and do his hat and if I get out of frame, you know, you guys let me know And I'm trying to keep up with the messages. I'm sorry. I'm not um Hi, Cindy. How are you? All right. So this is my R27. And so I'm just going to go in. And I'm a little heavy-handed, so I have to be careful. And so I'm just going to go lightly right here and right here and right here. And then I'm turning my paper and trying to stay in frame right here. Actually, sometimes, and I should have maybe done that this time, I should have done my stars first because uh, I don't want to cover color over them. And that kind of helps me. I don't know if it helps anybody else, but sometimes I do small things like that first. And I probably should have done that this time. But we've already started, so we'll see. Okay, so somebody tell me what good bargain they got today if they went shopping. If anybody got any good bargains or not. I know some people are getting these, are they echo plugs, like um, smart plugs? One of my friends posted about it. If you have an echo on Amazon, you can order from the echo, these echo plugs, and it makes your plug-in smart. And you can uh, tell it to turn on your devices, which is kind of cool. I don't know if anybody has any of those or not, but that seemed kind of neat. And I think people get, I don't know, they get a lot of their kids' toys and stuff today. No shopping for you, Dawn? Yeah, I'm really not a shopper. <laughs> E24, I have to work uh, the 7th and the 14th. I have ACT and SATs. Um, so I won't get my Christmas shopping done until the 21st, which is really pushing it, I know. <laughs> but that's just how I roll. I don't know why I'm not, um, I don't, I just don't shop in advance. I do have one gift. I have a little jewelry box, and I can say that because a person isn't watching. I have a little jewelry box for one of our, uh, grandkids. Well, that's kind of nice. And this is for an actual grandkid, not a child that we're raising. So that'll be kind of nice. Okay, so I'm just going around with my medium tone. This is my medium tone, and I'm trying to be careful. Red is a tough color to color with because it, um, it bleeds. So you got to be very careful. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying not to go in. I, I kind of messed up right here. I was trying not to go in in between where there's sort of some folds. 
just trying to stay on the other side of them. So then I'm going to take my lighter color and sweep across the hat, but not all the way across the hat because I want to try to leave some um, highlight. A toilet paper because there was they left none. You know what? Oh, that's a good point. They should leave, have left you toilet paper. I saw that you got a nice um, gift basket, Gail. Oh my gosh, that was so so nice to get that. I guess from your realtor. I thought maybe it was from the people selling the house, but they may not have been um, in the states because I think you said that they were uh, British. I think that's what you had said before. Oh, I love your house, Gail. I love the sunshine, number one. I love your lanai. I love all your rooms. I think your little doggies seemed so, 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 so happy. That was a great live that you did today. And I love my box, Gail. Oh, my gosh. I was so shocked. I, I went out on my porch, and I thought, I didn't order anything from Amazon. And then I realized it was from Gail. And what a wonderful box. Thank you, Gail. I just was in shock. All right, I'm going to go back with my darker colors again. And I'm going, and you know, um, I generally go twice, but you can go over your images as many times as you feel that you need to layer. And then sometimes after a live, I go back over and I layer again, or I get my pencils out and I use them to help with the shading because you can use your Prismacolors right on top of your Copics. And uh, they do a wonderful job. I use them to do shading often. Now I'm gonna go in here at the tip of the hat with the darker color and pull it around. And I'm, ho I'm hoping I'm still in frame. I don't know if any of my students are on tonight. If they are, hello and welcome. Uh, they left me holes in the wall. Oh, they didn't even put um, like toilet, uh, not toilet, but a toothpaste or something to cover up the holes. That's terrible. See, I grew up in the military and you had to cover everything. You could not move out and not co cover your holes, fill in your holes. And you had to leave it a house beautiful. You had to leave the house move-in ready. So that is just terrible that they left it with holes in the wall. I was wondering how that you got your cable turned on when you weren't there yesterday to uh, let them in. But maybe your friend let them in. So I'm going back over with my medium tone and trying to pull the color out again. And see, I've left it white because now I'm going to go back over with my lightest color. So that way it gives it more of a highlight. And so this is the R14, which is light rouge. Hi, Sherry. Uh, Sherry Boomer. Bomer. Sherry Bomer. Aw. Nice of you to join us. And if you are um, on, if you could like my page as well as follow it, I sure would appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my numbers, and I am giving away a brand new stamp set open internationally. Oh, you know, I will send it to whoever wins internationally uh, or stateside a brand new uh, stamp set and then that's for 250 when I reach 250 and when I reach 500 I have a I'll show you I have if I have it close by I have a small set of markers oh, I was lucky oh here it is I have this brand new set of illustrators that I'm gonna give away when I reach 500 so if um see right here so when i reach 500 likes i'm sending this it's brand new never opened and at 250 it is a stamp set brand new so if you could like my page i'd really appreciate it because i'm trying desperately to grow my numbers and when i get to a thousand well maybe i can have a party like dawn's having probably not as big as her party but i will have a party and i will i will give away um, a couple of gift certificates too. How's that? I'll commit to that. So, all right. So here's the hat. 
And like I said, I usually go back in after a live and I do a little bit more work um, on it. You know, on a live, there's some pressure, so you sometimes... <laughs> I feel like sometimes I could have done a little bit better because you don't have all the time in the world. I tend to bite off more than I can chew, and I was going to do two images tonight, and then I thought, no, nope, why, why do I do these things to myself? So I'm, I stuck to this one. So I'm just going over it again because I wanted a little bit more uh, depth to the uh, image. So I'm just pulling it out it out just a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more over here oh can you hear uh kyra <laughs> she enjoyed thanksgiving you know it's fun when they after they reach the year a year mark because then they start enjoying the holidays and things she noticed the tree and all that stuff so that was kind of fun all right so i'm just gonna go back in just a little bit around my star there we go okay let's do a swipe after I color the stars I might go over this a little bit more but let's see how it looks after I do the stars all right so for the stars you know they're small I'm not going to um, do these in multiple colors so I'm using B97 which is night blue Hope they are still been sitting in a box for like, hope, hope they are still good. Been sitting, oh, what's been sitting in a box? Hi, Jamie, Luna. What's been sitting in a box for two years? This is exciting to watch. I was gifted a few Copics and have no idea how to use it. You know what, Jamie, Luna? Just get those Copics out and use them. And once you start using them, uh, you'll just get better and better. You know, practice does make perfect. So just get them out and watch some YouTube videos. Um, there's a lot of really good people out there to watch. One day I'm going to make a list of the people that I've watched. I'll put it on my blog and list it on my Facebook page that I've written a blog about it. Because there's uh, several people that I follow that just do all sorts of great things. So that's how you really learn to use them. Get them out and use them. I actually color uh, coloring pages, and Sherry has coloring books that you could um, download and color on. I, ca I carry uh, coloring books with me in my car, and when I have to sit and wait for my kids at um, doctor's appointments or places like that, I sit and color. I use my, I have some uh, cl coloristas that I carry with me because it's a smaller set, and if something happens to them, you know, it's okay. I wouldn't want my Copics stolen. And I, I color wherever I go. And I've been doing that for years. It, it You know, it's kind of soothing. So I'm just kind of going around where there's little white spots by the stars. So there we go. So that is his hat. I just love his little hat. Okay, so I am going to use green on his outfit right here and I still need to do his um, little ball also but I'll come back and do that which I know why don't I do it right now but I'll come back and do that so let me get my greens out that I'm using and I have them here Oop, that's not green <laughs> All right, I felt like I had a different green here, and I don't know where it went to. I'm sure I had another green out, but maybe not. All right, so I have a G17, which is forest green. I have G02, which is a spectrum green, and G05, which is emerald green, and those are what I'm going to use. I have a diaper pack I turned into, oh, a diaper pack. That is a great idea, Jamie. That is a wonderful idea. Oh my goodness. I could do that because I have uh, a couple of different uh, diaper bags because I, you know, like I bought a couple and I didn't like what I had and I rebought. Oh my gosh, what a great idea. Thank you for that suggestion. 
inspiration. <laughs> See how we all help each other? It's so wonderful. Okay, my green tends to um, come out in a blob. So I'm just looking for a piece of paper here. Just so I can kind of... See, I'm just... What I'm doing is just kind of dabbing. And I'm going to have this off to the side because I have a lot of problems with my green. And I have another marker, blue, that also tends to put big blobs out. And it is heartbreaking when you're working on an image and you're almost done and you get a great big blob. So I'm just going in and around the edges, kind of pulling this down gently, ever so gently. And here. See, I've already lost track of my messages. I still don't know if anybody got any really good bargains today. I think people, you know, they like Black Friday because they like the camaraderie of maybe going out with people. And I guess I'm a little bit more, um, I don't know, do things by myself a little bit more because I have little kids with me all the time. And who wants to hang out with somebody my age? You know, most people my age have, their kids are already gone. They don't want to have to hang out with somebody that has little kids all the time. Now, it looks a little harsh while I am kind of putting in the shadows. So now I am going to go in, and I actually go in with my lighter color, and then I go in with my medium tone. I'm just kind of pulling it out. I'm just kind of pulling it out. And I'll go over this a couple of times, and then that it blends it in better. But I like to get it fairly well uh, saturated to work with it. And here we go. I, I got, let's see if I can go in there and kind of fix it. Okay. There we go. And I'll, like I said, I'm going to go, I'm going to work with this a couple of times. And I still have to do his gloves, which I wish I would have done those already. But oh well. So here we go. I was really wanting to go look at furniture, but I couldn't really justify spending the money on furniture. So this is my G05. See, G05. And your chows and your sketches, they all work together. Uh, you know, they're, they're, it's the same alcohol ink in them. So they all work together. So don't worry about um, mixing them up. And to be honest, you can even use other brands. So whatever you have, just use them. Don't let them just sit there and dry up. It's kind of a shame to do that. And I'm going back in again with my G17. And I'm just kind of... Just sort of flicking it. Trying to be a little bit neat. And this is a really dark kind of a dark color so it sort of hides my nice lines I'm going back in with my medium I'm gonna pull it up see just kind of pull it up sounds like a herd of elephants upstairs I don't know if you can hear that or not there we go and I just wanted to check my messages sorry not messages but hi Linda I have watched some of your uh, lives, Linda, on when you, you do your lives on um, YouTube, and so I have watched some of them. So interesting. I put all my videos on YouTube, but I haven't actually done a live. I, th I thought about doing a, like you can do a co-live, like you can do a live here and do it on YouTube at the same time. I thought about doing that. Okay, so I'm just trying to pull this up a little bit, see, just pulling it up. Oh my. I don't know. Something's going on upstairs. I apologize. All right. So I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to come back to that because I'm not real happy with that down there. But it's a little bit wet to work with. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to check my messages while I'm coming back. Interesting bag. No, I love your lives, Linda. I love them. Love them. And I th I'm thinking about doing it, um, doing my, a live on Facebook while I do this because there is a free uh, open source, if you know anything about computing, open source program that you can use 
uh, to do your broadcasting with. And um, open broadcast something, OBS. Open broadcast OBS. I'm not sure um, the exact act, what the S. Open broadcast something. And you can do, um, you can do your lives to like YouTube and to uh, Twitch, to um, Facebook. You can do to multiple um, platforms at one time. And I've been working on setting that all up because I thought about doing that. Because right now, sometimes I post things on Instagram if they're um, like 10 minutes or less. But I thought about doing something, expanding a little bit. And you can, that way you can hit more people at one time. Anyway, I've been experimenting. We'll see how it goes. I love technology because I worked in technology for a lot of years before I started teaching. Well, I actually taught um, electronics at the men's prison before I started becoming an English teacher. So I, I had taught electronics and uh, computer networking at the men's prison because I had been a network engineer for a lot of years and did a lot with um, networks, setting them up and, and things. So I still love technology, even though I don't work in it every day like I used to. I still love it. Anyway, so Linda had inspired me when I saw her live. I thought, hmm, maybe I should expand a little bit. So I thank you for that. Well, if you use that OBS software, Linda, then you can do it to uh, multiple platforms because you're logged in. You log into your Facebook before you record and you set up a, um, a scene and then you can see yourself in one square and you can see the scene in the other square. And um, that's what your viewers see is the, is the second scene. And so you could do that. And then that way it helps, you know, can help pull in different viewers, people that might not always watch. And then I don't know if you guys are familiar with MeWe. It's another social platform similar to Facebook. And I'm actually setting up a page on MeWe because a lot of people are moving to MeWe from Facebook and um, so I'm actually looking into being on MeWe myself. I already set up an account but I'm gonna build my creative paper crafting page on there. Alright so I use the same three colors and you see red, red will um, bleed through and actually if you follow Jamie Clark at all, she's a wonderful teacher. She says, if you're not bleeding through, you're not doing it right. So, bleeding through is actually a good thing, not a bad thing. All right, so now let's go in and do the little snowball fur. And I did this in blues again. And so I'm just pulling those out. And I used my um, B91, B97. And my B93. And I might use a touch of B00. So, go in and, and do that. And I'm taking both ends off. And let me just test this one. Because mine, I don't know, like I said, they started getting big blobs, which is heartbreaking when you're working on an image and you get nearly done and then you got a big blob of ink. <laughs> so now I'm going in with my B93, and I'm going around the edges, and um, so I'm just going around the edges here. And I'm gonna work on this a couple of times. Sometimes I go darker to lighter, and sometimes I go lighter. Lighter to dark, or darker to light. It depends what I'm working on. And so I'm just going over this. And I'm going to do this again. And now I am going with my darker. And I'm just kind of going just around the edges, trying to. And this is first, so I'm kind of dotting. I don't know if you can tell that I'm just kind of dotting it. See, I'm just kind of dotting. And then I'm going to go in with my medium and do the same thing, just kind of dotting around. See, just kind of dotting around. 
and then with my lighter and then just kind of dot it around just sort of like that like so like so see all right now <clears throat> Sorry, I'm gonna go back in with my lighter, my G02. And I'm just, okay. And I am kind of pushing it back, just sort of pushing it back. Instead of pulling it out, pushing it back. Like, like so. Cause I, I don't know, I didn't quite like it. And I'm gonna take my medium which was my G05, and I'm just gonna kinda just flick it a little bit, like so. There we go. Just felt like it needed a little bit more um, kind of dimension. Now, <clears throat> for two reasons I'm going to do this. This is something I used to do a long time ago, and I um, had kind of gotten away from it. Um, I learned this on a, a YouTube video, Hobby hobby Something, and I'll put that link because she's really good. My Scan and Cut will not, what, it, what it's doing is cutting out the stars. So if you use a gray, it'll do two things. It'll make your image kind of pop. So you go around it, it'll make your image sort of pop. And it also helps when you cut this out on your scan and cut, which is what I'm going to do. But I do have a backup of this image just in case because my scan and cut, you know, sometimes it cuts well. Like I cut this image once and it cut out perfect. I cut it a second time and it cut all those little stars out. You just never know what your scan and cut it has its own line. So I'm going around gently with this gray. And this will make your image pop off the paper. And I learned this from um, a YouTube video, uh, Holly, Holly Hobby. Holly, does that sound right? I'll put the link because she's really good. She's got all sorts of um, great tips on her page. All right. So that kind of helps make it kind of pop and also helps with your scan and cut. Now, before I put it in my scan and cut... I'm going to take my white jelly roll. Heather's Hobby Haven. That is it, Cynthia. Thank you. Heather Hobby Haven. She is wonderful. And I, I mean, she's been around a long time. I have been watching her videos a long time. She is absolutely fabulous. And I learn so much from her all the time. She is one of the people I follow. I follow several, but I just, I, I really love her. Now, I am also using a Jelly Roll. Um, this one just adds, like, sparkle. And um, I don't see where on here it says that that's what it is, but this is my sparkly one. The cap is all sparkly. And what I do is I just kind of, see, I'm just going over my... <clears throat> little furry ball here that didn't sound very good does it going over that and see I don't know if you can kind of see it adds a little bit of um, just a really pretty shine on it see I'm trying to see I love that I just think that's so pretty I mean really I mean well we got the time let's do the stars too because you know you can never have too much sparkle so let's do the stars. And then we're gonna cut this little fellow out and I'm gonna do a background that I had um, experimented with. Anyway, I said I was thinking about, I really want new furniture, uh, but I can't really justify spending the money right now on us when we got Christmas that we have to get for little ones. And it's so fun to, don't you think it's fun shopping for the little ones? <laughs> Okay, so I am going to do a background, but before I do a background, I'm going to cut this out. And so I'm going to, 
No, that's right. No such thing as too sparkly. And I'm actually going to add a little bit more sparkle in a moment after I cut this out. I just think it messes with my scan and cut if I do it beforehand. So I'm putting this on and I did get a brand new mat. My other mat was about, I don't know, maybe eight years old. And I'm not going to get rid of it. I mean, I'll, I, I fix it all the time, make it re-sticky. But I um, got a brand new mat. So I'm going to stick this in my scan and cut. And I am going to, this is the paper. I've got watercolor paper out here. So I'm going to stick this in. While I stick it in, I'll, here's my iPad. I'll see if um, there's any good messages that have come across. If my craft room was bigger, I would show you uh, cutting this out, but I have like no room to move around. <laughs> Sorry. So, sticking this in, and I'm going to look and see if there's any questions. Now's a good time to ask them. I think Dawn had said about um, putting them in all caps if you have questions, and you could do that, and then it's easier to see. Okay, so it's scanning, and I'm just going to check and see if anybody's asking any questions. Um, you love spark Sandra loves sparkle on her um, Christmas cards. Me too. I love sparkle. Although I know that I do use glitter, that maybe it's not the best thing to, to use for the environment. I, I do worry about that. And I think there's friendlier glitter out. And so it might be worth the investment to, um, to get it. Okay, so I am cutting him out. Let's... I'm hoping it all goes well here. I just framed my image. Let's see, oh, Kathy. It's just recognizing it. This is the background paper. It's got a silver in it. I thought it would tie together with the background that I'm gonna do. And I um, appreciate everybody that's on with, okay, here we go. It's gonna work now, let's see. and start okay Woo. Let's, let's see if it works if it doesn't work I have a backup right here <laughs> see <laughs> be prepared you're one of the, let me see what it says I am yes I think there's friendlier glitters I'm one of the weird people who is not bothered by glitter if my rug sparkles I'm okay <laughs> I love sparkly stuff. I, I'll admit it. I do love it. Okay, it cut a little bit. It cut just a little bit funky. I don't know what it's doing. Because this image cut fine. And this one cut a little bit funky. So what we're going to do is, that's what scissors are for. I'm going to just uh, fussy cut just a little bit real quick. And then we'll do the background. So I don't know why it's doing this. So I'm just gonna go in with my scissors. Won't take but a moment. Sorry. Some people, they love to fussy cut. I'm probably not one of them. I mean, it is somewhat soothing, I guess. And if you turn your paper, it helps. But I'm probably not one of them that likes to cuss, uh, cussy, that likes to fussy cut. I certainly don't like to cussy cut, but I'm not one of those people that love to uh, fussy cut. That's why I got my um, scan and cut. Although I don't know why it cut this in a funny way. It could be the lighting. It's pretty dark over there. I have all my lights here for my live and so I don't have enough lighting over there probably. That's probably what's wrong because you know it, it does depend on your lighting. Okay. And I want to use this one because I don't like the uh, little fur ball on the other one because I did it in the wrong color sparkly. So, so this is going to have a little bit more white around it than I normally like since I'm doing this myself. With the scan and cut, you can get it a lot closer than I'm getting it. But, oh well. Like I said, I think it's my lighting. And a little bit more in here. And we're going to go up. Oh my goodness, you guys. If you are, if you have Netflix, 
There is a new series called Heartstrings. And it's by Dolly Parton. It's produced, I don't know if she produces it, but it's based on her songs, but it's not her, it's not her in it all the way through. She just introduces a story, and each story is an independent story, and I don't know, there's like eight of them. Oh my gosh, it is the most wonderful series, uh, and has big stars in it, um, like Gerald McRaney and Delta Burke are in one episode. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of some of the stars that are in it. It is just so good. What I'm doing now is, I said I wanted to add a little more sparkly. So I'm taking my glue and I'm just going to dab it just a little bit. Then we'll do the background. Of course, my glue is stuck. Let me try pulling it out again. Let me, uh... Anyway, it is the best series. I binge watched it, watched it um, last night when I should have been sleeping. <laughs> So if you get a chance to watch it, it is so good. Each episode is, like I said, based on a, one of her songs. The title is one of her songs. But the story is other actors, and it's so good. Okay, here we go. So I'm just taking this glue. It came out in a blob, and I didn't really want that. Okay, so I'm just tap, tap, tap. This is something, I don't know. I like doing this with a gold glitter, but we're going to do this with some green. Okay, just because, like I, I said, I love sparkly. And it's Christmas, so we should have some sparkles. So I'm just taking some green glitter. See, and I'm just... And so, just like that. Okay, now... Whoop. Okay, so here, see, it just adds a little bit more. I just think it's so pretty. Just adds a little bit. A little bit more sparkle. Can never have too much. And I'm putting my extra back in. And now let's work on our background. So, there we go. You know, all the sparkle you can get. I just think it adds to your images. So cute. There we go. Now, this is watercolor paper, it's um, Strathmore. And I'm getting my mat right here and I am taking my inks and um, I am using these Harmony inks that I had purchased and some are better than others so I'm just sticking it on my mat now I was a little heavy with that one a little This is um, Pink Tulip. And then we're going to get this one, which is a um, oh, pig, Pale Fig. Right there. And so, see, that one has a lot of ink on it, and these ones do not. My, um, I don't know, they, they're they only okay. They're not, I wouldn't buy them again. <laughs> Some are better than others is what I'm trying to say. And then I have a Distress Oxide Salty Ocean. So I'm putting it right there. And then what I'm going to do is I have right here this is a Bria Reese Liquid Glitter similar to a Pixie Dust. And oop, it's okay. It, 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 this bottle is so leaky. So I'm just mixing it in like so. And we're going to make a background. And then we're going to make snow. So I'm just taking my brush. And I just take it on a paper towel. And these actually, see, stay pretty clean. So I'm just going to mix it in. Like so. And then I'm going to take my paper. I wish I had, see, I don't have a lot of space here. Let me see if I can um, move my mat like this. Okay. And I'm just kind of gonna rub that in and see it does this one just does not have a lot of ink in it that's why I said I wouldn't buy these again because they um I don't know they just don't have a lot going on okay so I'm gonna go in like so and I put the sparkle because you can't really see I'll hold it up to the camera it it makes it have 
a very nice sparkly color. And so I'm just rubbing this on my um, glass mat. I'm trying to get it in so you can see. See, I'm just rubbing it in. And then I'm just, see, going like this. Like so. Just kind of rubbing it. Then I'm going to take this purpley one and I'm mixing it in with my pixie dust. And kind of going like this. See? Like so. I'm just kind of getting a um, foundation. And then I just take this. I just kind of mix in a little bit more blue and I'm trying to add in a little blue here. There we go. See, so I'm just doing kind of swirls like so, like that. Got to be like you got to be careful because wherever you touch, <laughs> wherever you touch will um oh leave a fingerprint. So I'm going to take a little bit more blue, I'm just going to mix it in and kind of go over. And this is actually very shiny. So here, see we're still, still kind of going and let me, I'm going to dry it real quick and then we're going to do this again. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it does have a shine from the uh, glitter. Now I'm using a little bit of Salty Ocean again, and I am going to put a little bit more of my glitter. There we go. And mix it in like so. And then let's see if I can... Okay, so I'm just kind of lightly going over. I dried it a little bit so it would pick up some more blue. And then I'm going to go back in like this. And all I'm doing is just is sort of swirling it. There we go. Like so. And then pretty happy. There we go. So it's just kind of swirly, kind of pretty. So I'll move my glass mat out of the way. And now... I'm going to give this another little dry. And we're going to uh, kind of do some snow around it. So let me um, check my messages. Oh, very sparkly. It is sparkly. You can't really, I don't know if you can see it or not. If you, it, it's sparkly all over and as it dries, it gets more sparkly. Okay, <clears throat> so next, what I'm going to do is this is um, shabby white enamel, and I'm going to sprinkle it around to make snow. And what I do is I use, um, I have some embossing, some old, this is really old. It's no good when I do words. It, it just does, it, it's terrible. And what I'm going to do is put it around with a, a just a small brush and I'm just gonna kind of dab it around we'll see if it how it does earlier I did it a little differently but I think I'm gonna try doing it with the brush so I'm just dabbing it around so this is embossing um, ink just kind of dabbing it around and I'm gonna take a piece of paper like so. <laughs> and this is a shabby white embossing enamel. And we're going to do this a couple times. We're going to do some layers with this. This has gold and white in it, so I love it. Okay, I'm just going to kind of oh, might have been a little too wet. But no, no worries. <laughs> No worries, I'm going to take a paintbrush. Take, take a paintbrush and kind of say where you don't want it. Flick it off. So it got on a little heavy because I think my paint was still a little wet. Or my ink. So it's okay. 
no worries. So we're taking some of it off, just like that. Just kind of take it off. It's okay. Okay, now, before I put my um, heater on, I'm gonna fold this up, put it back in, and then we're gonna do several layers of this, so it's okay. Put it back in. I love this shabby chic stuff, it's so pretty. Move this, put my lid, here we go. I'm going to do next this is where I this is one of those little experiments I did and I used a little bit of glue and the glue makes it bubble up so I can get my glue to come out oh, sorry there we go so I'm just doing little little specks just little specks and there's all different things you can use for snow I just loved, um, just love this. So I'm going to take, this one is um, shaved ice. And so I'm going to put that on. So this one's shaved ice. And it's chunkier. Okay, so it's, see, it, it's chunkier. I'll put this back in. A little longer live tonight. Sorry. <laughs> this again. Okay, so the glue makes it kind of bubble up and makes it a little chunkier. All right, and so next, what I'm gonna do, one more thing, and then we'll put the card together. And so, um, looking for my little Santa. Of course, I, I set him down. I've got the one that I didn't wanna put on here, but what, I don't know where I put mine that I just did. <laughs> okay, so anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna take this and take my glue, put it down here on the bottom. Woo! Uh, Linda, thank you, Linda. <laughs> I'm gonna put my glue down here, and I'm gonna take my paintbrush. I'm just gonna take this one that we used, and I'm just gonna spread my glue kind of around, and um, kind of, just kind of around like that. And I bought this flocking stuff, see, 50 whole cents at a yard sale. Um, it's called Snow White, and it's flocking. And I'm just going to put it on, just some snow <laughs> on the bottom. And give it a good tap, 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 tap. There we go. And I think I'm going to put a little bit more glue. I don't think it flocked enough. Hopefully it's okay to flock it more than once. And put it over the top. Like I said, I bought this at a yard sale for 50 cents when I very first started crafting, so it is old. There we go. Because mm, I didn't spread that out very good. So one more time. Flock, flock, flock. There we go. <laughs> 
Okay, there we go. Now, there we go. It's kind of cool stuff. I don't know what it's made out of. To be perfectly honest, I've never seen it in the stores or anything. I just found this at a yard sale. I bought a whole bunch of stuff at a yard sale when I very first started crafting. And um, this was in there, and I hadn't used it until tonight. Okay, so there's my card uh, base. And we're going to put this together now. And let me move my stuff out of the way and um, find my card. <laughs> I moved everything. I moved everything, and now what did I do with it? Okay, so this is going to go, see, on top of here, like so. <laughs> let me find my little guy. Oh, here it is. Here it is. All right. Here's the one. I had moved it off to the side. Okay. So this was my idea. This is a kind of, it's not really simple because we did a lot of steps here, but I thought he would look good like that. And then we'll put our sentiment. So let me get all my adhesive out. You know, um, it's fun to do different kinds of cards. They don't all have to be um, 100 layers. Sometimes we can do something different. And backgrounds are a fun way to do something different, I think. So I'm going to take my um, adhesive. And I'm going to pop. I think about popping that. Up. I don't know. Maybe just pop the guy up. Let's see. What do you guys? I think I'll just pop up my guy instead of popping up the background. I'm gonna see what everybody else kind of says to do. All right, so let's um, mount him up here. And I'm sort of running out of my tape. I'm gonna have to get some more. But, so anyway, so let me put him on, a bat, on the back. <laughs> Thank you for all the hearts. You know, I like layers, I do. But sometimes it's fun to do a fun background. Of course, you could do a, cut this in a smaller square and still do all your layers if you want. Just kind of depends what you're wanting to do. I just wanted to show you that you could. You don't always have to have um, tons of pattern paper. You can use the things you have to make a background. I actually love working with inks. It was something I used to um, do all the time. It was like my favorite thing to do. And my flocking has fallen off a little bit. Might have to put some more on. Probably should have let it dry before I see before I um <laughs> before I did this. Now Gail, she's got a little pokey tool and she just like zip 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 zip. I'm not as quick. And normally I have strips that I lay down here, but I ran out of that solid strips that I put on. I have to try to get some more. I feel like I run through adhesive pretty quickly. I wish there was some place that had a good deal for Black Friday on Copics. Wouldn't that have been great? Okay. So I'm turning it back around and I'm kind of centering it. There we go. There we go. So then I'm going to put my guy here and I'm going to pop him up and then we're going to do the sentiment and then our card is done. You know, and I think I said I wasn't going to pop up that background, and then I popped it up. So, so much for me uh, paying attention on my live. <laughs> I think I'm getting the back of what the backing. Let me see what it says. Oh, I lost them. I think I'm, I think at getting the backing of my arm and sticky tape. Hmm. Oh, Stephanie Huntley's on too. She does fabulous cards. If anybody's been following any of the things that she does. I probably should have zoomed out. It's not very attractive, my hand there. Sorry. Okay, and here we go. So I'm gonna put him right here. And you could actually add a little bit more snow, I think, personally. Um, because I think that it looks a little, um, let's add some. I don't know how it works adding it over the top, if it works well or not, but we'll try it. Because I think when I turned it upside down, it kind of fell off. So I'm going to spread it out a little bit. Just a little bit. 
and we'll add a little bit more because I think he needs it. And if I had some glitter, I believe I could have added glitter in with it, but I, what I have right here is embossing. It's not glitter, and I don't have any white glitter. I wish I did. See, when you, you think you have everything, but the more you do, the more you wish you had more things. <laughs> here we go. So I'm going to just add a little bit more snow. And maybe uh, paper snow banks would have been better where you cut them in the, you know, like the curved, and then you add it on. But I was just wanting to try to do everything as a back, you know, hand done. There you go. I do think that looks a little bit better. Okay. Let me put the extra back in and let's do the sentiment. I think these gnomes are so adorable. And this is from um, Sherry Baldy on My Bestie Shop. And I should have put out some information and didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't do a live on Wednesday, so I guess I'm a little bit out of practice. Um, let me see if I have her information typed up. I thought I did, but I don't see it. But I'll post. Uh, I already have the link on my page, but I'll post it again for you. And let's do the sentiment. So I am going to raise you up just a little bit. Just a little bit. So we can add the sentiment. And I'm going to use. Let me find it. Right here. Um, have. Let's see. I was going to use. Um, I thought about using Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays. So we're going to stamp this out. And then we're done. After we get our sentiment on. Although I think that might. Seems a little small. For this card. I was trying to see if I had another one out that um, I'd like better. Joyful, I can't read. Uh, joyful, joyful something. I'm not quite sure what that says. Joyful, hmm. Well, we'll go with this. We'll go with this. So I'm going to get, I'm using stays on right here. So I'm just using my stays on ink. And then I just, I just use a scrap piece of paper. So like so. And then we take a, um, let's take, this one says happy holidays. And we're gonna do this like in two strips. <clears throat> and it probably I should use my Misty but mine's a little bit warped. And um, so when I use it, these little stamps don't do as well on it. I'm just trying to straighten it out. Okay. So we're gonna press down like that. Oh, I don't like that. Let's do it again. Like that, like so. Okay, so I'm just going to take my scissors. I'm just going to kind of cut it away. I'm noticing that my scissors are a little bit um, crookedy. Okay, so let's cut it like so. Like so. And let's do, I think it's called a fishtail. Someone told me that last time that it's called a fishtail. So we're just going to do a fishtail. And what I do is I snip it in the middle, like so. Then you kind of come up to the best of your ability and meet where you snipped. Like this. Okay, so this is happy. And then we're gonna do holidays, which is an expression that I grew up saying, happy holidays. And I didn't leave enough of a, you know what, we're gonna do this one again because I didn't leave enough for the fishtail. Let's do it again. And my mother is European 
and we grew up saying happy holidays. And uh, so that's what I always say to people. I have to get my cards mailed off. Did a card exchange with on Gail's page, and I got to mail my card off tomorrow. So I don't, I don't know who my person is watching, but I am going to mail that card off tomorrow. I have a couple that I'm sending to the UK, and I'm sending them to tomorrow. And then this one, I think the person is Dutch. So I'm going to mail those off. There we go. Happy holidays. And we're just going to add that on. And what I typically do is I run this on my ink pad. But I'm not going to do that tonight because I don't want to have a little accident. <laughs> when we're so close to being done. And I'm going to take my little dots. Pull them out. I have little ones. And we'll put these on. I like these little squares because you can space them out where you want them at. Now you could put any sentiment on here you want. This one is not like any anything fab because really I just want to just see the background. There we go. And now here we go with this. But I think it is a pretty card. Let me come back up because I think I'm a little bit out of frame. And there we go. Yeah, I got a little bit out of frame. And let me come over. There's a little bit of a lag. There we go. So happy holidays. There we go. So there we go, like so. So there we go. <clears throat> I don't link in here due to respect. Sharon Chalk Culture has, Sharon Chalk Culture has gnomes. Yes, I, I, there's a lot of people that have gnomes. This is a, um, my besties gnome um and this is my dt project for the uh, actually i'm ahead i've got i've done more than i'm supposed to do <laughs> um so i'm kind of ahead of the game this is really um probably an image i really was supposed to do in december but i did it um this weekend and so this is from my besties shop and the link is on my page she has some of the most some of the cutest gnomes really uh, there is and there's a lot. Gnomes are very are trending. Lots of people have gnomes, I know. But this is um, my besties and my DT project. And it's really a, no, a December DT project. But, um, you know, it doesn't hurt. I did it early. <laughs> I'm trying to get it in frame a little bit so that you can see it. There we go. There we go. I just think that I love the colors. I, I was just... It's a fun card, it, you know, all our cards are, can be different. You know, this is one I did uh, earlier this week, you know, where I have the layers and, and this is also a My Besties image. I think she's just adorable. You know, so you see, you can have, um, you can have different styles. You can have where you're a big background that is your focal point or you can have layers and, and embellishments it can just really be whatever you want so I, i'm so happy that you guys joined me and i feel like i got kind of focused on this and wasn't paying attention to all your comments and i do apologize if you have any questions thank you linda if you have any questions at all feel free to ask them and I will answer them. I go back over and I read the comments and I try to answer things. Um, and I'm so glad you joined me. And I just love making cards. <laughs> it's just, it's a, a fun community. It's fun to do. And I, I love them. And I hope you love them too. <laughs> he it, really, uh, he is so cute. And I wish you could see all the sparkle because there is a lot of sparkle. I just love, I love sparkly things. So, you know, you could do layers. This is one that I love doing, or you can do something like this. It, it's really, um, card making is really just about having fun. So anyway, so good night and I hope you guys have a um, 
fabulous weekend and I will be doing a live again on uh, Wednesday and Dawn will be having one. Um, I know that may, that Thanksgiving has thrown people off a little bit, but she does them on Sundays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then Gail, when she gets back into the swing of things after her move, she does them on Sundays and Wednesdays. And then Priya does wonderful videos. Uh, she's on our team too. So there's several of us that, that do things. I know I'm moving my hands. It's making everything blurry and I apologize for that. And if you haven't liked my page, please like my page because I am trying to grow it and I do have prizes at 250 and at 500. And I will talk to you guys later. Good night.